This is a house where idols fall. This is a house where dead men walk. This is a house where freedom comes. Can you hear it now? Hear it now. This is a house where idols fall. This is a house where dead men walk. This is a house where freedom comes. Can you hear it now? Hear it now. Austin and Lindsay, I don't know if you can see all the people clapping, but that was fantastic. Thank you so much. So I want to welcome you all, partners, national ministry leaders. We have partners, uh, Bible League International, most welcome on this call. We have national ministry leaders for, from our 116 national ministries around the world. We've got volunteers, friends of all uh, descriptions. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really grateful. And it's down to me to just say a few words in opening. So let me tell you what I've been thinking about just recently. I've been reading in the prophet Isaiah, you know, this widely regarded as the most comprehensive Old Testament prophet looking at the uh, kingdom of God and giving us a glimpse into both what was happening in his day and what was to come in the future. And you know, it was pretty rough in Isaiah's day. And in the first 10 chapters of Isaiah, we get a real window into the context into which he was prophesying. And it wasn't easy. It was difficult. And yet, in chapter 11, he lands right on the money. And this is what he says. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide disputes by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And that's the one today who we are gathering around. As a global family, we are gathering around the one who Isaiah prophesied would come. We have some themes today. And the first one we're going to go into is praise and thanksgiving. And I'm going to offer a verse to begin with. 2 Corinthians 4.15. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. And that's why we're here today. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mark, who is our um, regional director for the Caribbean. Uh, bless you. And indeed, it's great to be with everybody. And I just invite you to bow your heads now as we look to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God and our Father, creator of heaven and earth and everything that therein is, we come boldly before your throne with hearts of praise and worship. Hallelujah. We thank you that there is no God like you. You are enthroned above the circle of the earth and reign as God of gods and Lord of lords. Your glory fills the universe. Father, we thank you that you have given us this grand opportunity to come together in this fashion today as prison ministries from around the world to petition your throne. We know that there is no power that is greater than your power, O oh Lord, and we call on you, our God, because when we call on the name of the Lord, our God, we know that you hear and you answer. We are grateful, Lord, that you have found us worthy to partner with you to reach our brothers and sisters behind bars and children who are affected by crime and violence. Merciful God, we are caused to Christ, our solid rock. So we thank you for the blessed assurance we have that in you, our tomorrow will be better than our yesterday. Be glorified in our means now, I pray, eternal God. Have thine own divine way through Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord and Savior. 
Amen and Amen. 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 Thank you, Mark. And thank you again to everyone joining us by Facebook and by YouTube. Thank you for those amens and thank you for joining us. Next, I want to introduce Laura from Prism Fellowship, Mexico. Hello. I'm going to pray in Spanish so every people in America, in, in Latin America, can understand the prayer. Amado Señor Jesucristo, oramos por las personas privadas de libertad, especialmente por quienes han contraído COVID, por quienes han muerto en prisión y por sus familias. Oramos por las autoridades y personal de salud penitenciarios para que los protejas de contagio, les dé sabiduría y enciendas en sus corazones el fuego de amor cristiano. Oramos por los voluntarios de Prison Fellowship International para que fortalecidos en tu amor e inspirados por tu espíritu sepan dar respuesta a las necesidades de los sistemas penitenciarios en cada país. Oramos por todos aquellos hermanos que cegados por el dolor de la violencia no han podido encontrar a Cristo en la mirada de los presos. Oramos por todas las personas que han tenido que morir en soledad. Oramos por los médicos y todo el personal de, sal de salud. Te pedimos que derrames tu preciosísima sangre sobre ellos, los protejas de contagio y les des fuerza para seguir adelante en su bendita labor. Amado Pastor, te damos gracias porque en medio de tanta confusión, dolor, miedo e incertidumbre, tú, Unes a tu rebaño en la oración. Te damos gracias porque en la adversidad tú eres luz y remanso de paz. Porque Él es esperanza y aliento. Te damos gracias porque esta pandemia nos ha permitido tener un reencuentro contigo. Gracias, Señor, por tu infinito amor y misericordia. Gracias por sembrar la semilla de la caridad en todos los corazones que se han tornado en ayudar a quienes lo necesitan con tanta urgencia. Gracias por el personal de salud, los héroes de estos tiempos. Gracias porque hoy nos regalas la salud del cuerpo y del alma. Amén. Thank you so much. I want to remind everyone that you can, everyone watching um, on Facebook and YouTube, that you can send in prayer requests through the chats and the comments and they'll make their way over here. And I do want to mention the first several that we've received, and I'm just going to say the first names, but we want to do pray today for Samuel, for Stephen, for Anna, for Rolston, for Omar, for Sandra, for Juana, and for Segabiro. Thank you so much. And to round out our praise and Thanksgiving theme, I'm going to ask Pastor Ali to say his prayer in whatever language you're comfortable. Dieu vivant, tu es le Dieu de grâce, tu es le Dieu de toute bonté. C'est toi qui nous réunis, Seigneur, en un seul esprit, en un seul cœur, pour cette vision, Seigneur, de la fraternité de prison à travers le monde entier. Jusque-là, tu nous as secourus. Jusque-là, tu as veillé sur nous, Seigneur. Malgré les crises, malgré les tempêtes, Tu as été à l'œuvre, tu as été manifesté, Seigneur, parce que tu es le Dieu bon qui a établi ce ministère. Et Seigneur, nous ne pouvons que te rendre grâce et te louer, parce que Seigneur, l'impact est évident dans la vie de tous les prisonniers à travers le monde, hommes comme femmes, enfants, Seigneur, comme les familles, comme la communauté. Ô oh, Dieu Tout-Puissant, tu ne peux que te réjouir en voyant que L'œuvre continue et l'œuvre se poursuit afin que ta gloire rayonne à travers le monde entier. Bénis Seigneur toutes choses Seigneur que nous ferons. Bénis Seigneur euh, euh, tout euh, élément, toute association nationale, ou régionale ou au niveau international. Parce que Seigneur, tu nous as guidé, tu nous as gardé, tu nous as donné la force, tu as donné les moyens. Parfois, avec des petits moyens, nous avons fait des grandes choses. Dieu vivant de gloire, nous te bénissons, 
nous te rendons toute la gloire, la louange. Béni soit ton nom, Seigneur, éternel Dieu. Notre cœur est rempli de joie parce que c'est toi qui nous guides, c'est toi qui nous conduis. Sans toi, nous ne pouvons rien faire. C'est pourquoi, par ton esprit, nous faisons des exploits et c'est pourquoi nous te rendons grâce. Car nous avons besoin de toi encore pour la suite, Seigneur, du ministère partout dans le monde entier. Merci, Seigneur, pour ce moment ou de rencontre à travers ce média pour te rendre grâce, pour te louer. C'est au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ que nous avons prié. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Ali from Burkina Faso. And now we've rounded out our praise and thanksgiving theme, and we want to move into overcoming fear. And I want to offer a verse today from Joshua, Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And I want to ask Dora Stella Medina from Nicaragua to pray for us, please, for overcoming fear. Okay. Um, thank you, Christy. Uh, blessings to everybody from all over the world, and especially for Latin American brothers and sisters. I'm going to pray in Spanish. Um, amado Señor, estamos en este día, en esta hora especial para honrarte y glorificarte. Pero especialmente en esta mañana, siguiendo tu palabra, lo que vos le ordenaste a Josué, sé fuerte y valiente. Señor, eso nos estás mandando en este día de hoy a todo el mundo, a todos los hermanos de todos los ministerios a nivel mundial. Que seamos fuertes y valientes. No importa que haya COVID, no importa que haya pandemia, porque tu palabra y tu promesa es fiel, porque vos nos decís en tu palabra que vos vas a estar con nosotros donde quiera que estemos. Estemos en nuestras casas, Señor, estemos en cuarentena, vos estás con nosotros, Señor. Por eso no tenemos miedo y te presentamos todas nuestras necesidades, Señor de nuestra familia, Señor, para superar el miedo queremos estar con vos, porque estamos aprovechando esta oportunidad y este tiempo en familia, en nuestras casas, Señor. Te queremos, Señor, poner a los prisioneros y decirles, no tengan miedo porque el Señor está con ustedes, no desmayen, sigan adelante, hermanos prisioneros, la familia de ustedes, Todas las personas que en este momento están sufriendo y están padeciendo, esta es una promesa del Señor fiel y verdadera, porque en vos ponemos tu confianza, dice el Salmo 56, 3, cuando tenemos miedo. En vos, Señor, ponemos tu confianza. Y por eso, Señor, te decimos este día que estamos superando el miedo, aunque todas las noticias que tenemos con esta pandemia nos pueden dar tristeza y desanimo. Vos sos nuestra roca, nuestra fuerza, nuestra confianza, Señor, porque vos morás en nuestros corazones. Vos estás vivo y presente en nuestra familia, Señor. Vos estás vivo y presente en las prisiones del mundo, Señor. Vos estás vivo y presente en las familias de todos los voluntarios del mundo, Señor. Te damos gracias, Señor, porque estás con nosotros y vas a estar con nosotros todos los días del mundo. Tu bondad y tu misericordia nos va a acompañar. Por eso, en este tiempo de pandemia, que nos estamos reinventando la vida, que estamos logrando y viendo nuevas oportunidades, Señor, te decimos, ayúdanos a no tener miedo, Señor. No tenemos miedo, queremos ser valientes con vos, Señor, guiados de tu mano guiados de tu Espíritu Santo, Señor. Te damos gracias en esta mañana, te alabamos y te bendecimos, Señor, Padre del Cielo, en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo, tu Hijo, Señor. Gracias, Señor, te damos gracias en este día y te decimos gracias por estar con nosotros todos los días de nuestra vida. Amén y Amén. Miss Rima, also calling from the Middle East, North Africa region, would you join, uh, would you lead us in prayer? أيها الرب يسوع لقد حاصرتنا المحن ودخل الخوف إلى قلوبنا نحن الحجاج في هذا العالم لازلنا نحتاج إليك بوصلة وسندا في رحلة حجنا إليك 
كما تغلبت أنت يا رب على الخوف الذي أحاط بك ليلة ألامك على جبل الزيتون أبعد عن قلوبنا الخوف من مرض كورونا ومن ضبابية الغد أعطنا القوة لنقول معك إلى الله الآب لتكن مشيئتك لا مشيئتنا فنسلم ذاتنا إلى الآب الذي يجعل من كل شيء يعود بالخير على الذين يحبونه نطلب منك يا طبيب قلوبنا وأجسادنا أن تبقى إلى جانبنا في, في الألم فمعك العمي يقصرون الأسر يطلقون الموت يقومون والمساكين يبشرون أعطنا أن نبصر نورك في ظلام الأزمات الحالكة التي يمر بها العالم أعطي للمساجين أن يروك في علمهم ويشعرون في حضورك فمعك يا رب الراحة والهدوء أمام زئير عواصف هذا العالم كن أنت السكون كن عونا لجميع العاملين في السجون الذين يشاركوننا زيارة القريب المسجون وعندما تضطرب قلوبنا علمنا أن نلقي برؤوسنا على صدرك كما فعل التلميذ الحبيب في ليلة الألام لنصغي إلى خفقات قلبك يا مخلص فنجعل قلبنا يخفق حبا بحسب خفقات قلبك بشرنا يا رب بالخلاص بشرنا بنهاية المصاعب والمتاعب بشرنا بروحك القدوس روح التعزية بغد فيه أمل ورجاء ازرع في جميع الإخوة الأعضاء في بريزن فيلوشيب انترناشنال حرية روحك القدوس ليسير بحسب إلهامات الروح وينقل إلى العالم كله محبتك العذبة آمين آمين What we're going to do now as a collective act is we're going to read Exodus 15 and I'm just going to kick off And Moses, and Moses and Israelites sang this song to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. His horse and driver he has hurled into the sea. His strength and his defense he has become my salvation. Praise him. The Lord is a warrior. So now, let me ask Miss Penny who's calling in from the Philippines. Would you lead us in this time of prayer for wisdom and direction? Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, agyaman kami ang wapo Diyos, taawan iti Diyos nga kaslakan niyam, awan iti kapagpadam, awan iti Diyos nga makaamu iti amin, sikala ang ti makaamu iti amin, iti langit, tun iti daga. Agyaman kami ang wapo Diyos, taki na siya sinum, mabalinda ka nga Sambaan, mabalinda ka nga pagyamanan, mabalinda ka wapo Diyos nga pagnamnamaan. Apo Diyos, agyaman kami iti dahito yung tayo nga mabaling kami nga umaytin niyang. Kat amum amin, Apo Diyos, iti mang mangyari iti sangalubungan, amin nga national ministries, amin nga governments, O Lord, we know that you know this. And Lord, numan agkurang kami iti kaamuan, dawaton ni iti panang iturong mo iti amin nga gobyerno, iti dahito yung. Na duma do mga countries nga affected ta sikap mga apo just mga tud kanya da apo iti nalawag na latak nga kaamuan this wisdom that they need O Lord God to run the government to be able to know from you what next they will be doing agyaman kami o apo just ta mabalin mot nga dawaton ni dagiti para kadagiti kakabsat mi nga leaders iti national ministries all over the world Lord we thank you ta saan kang agkurang iti uh, sirib nga ipaay mo iti annak mo No anya iti arami renda no asa nuda nga ipataray iti programa no asa nuda nga reach out to iti na duma duma nga families oh father we thank you because you are always abundant with that and gihaman kami wa po Dios ta kuno nga no umasidug kami wa po Dios you will not refuse us you will not reject us gihaman kami wa po ta mabalin nga umasidug amin dagiti leaders nga dumawat kinyam iti sirin 
direction noan niya, iti iturong mo kanya dang aram ni din dapat. No, kas tau apo, in the midst of all these chaos, in the midst of all these challenges, Lord, your wisdom will continue to reign. We thank you and we praise you, O Lord God, because there is no one like you. Indeed, you are the only source of wisdom. We pray that this wisdom, each one of us, O Lord, in this prayer time, and even all the other, uh, our colleagues who are all over the world, Lord, umay kami kanyam, dumawat kami kanyam, we will seek you, and you will direct us, and you will give us direction. Salamat, O Apo, ti kinaimbag mo, kinadakul iti parabo mo kanyami, kat O Apo, si kalaang iti mabalin nga mga daulo, iti nasaya at nga direction, O Apo, Diyos, ti may sa, may sa. No man pa'y umadayo, iti may sa kanyami, O Apo, Diyos, iti pagayatang, dawatan mga yul, bring us back, O Lord God, to the right path. And this we pray, O Father, because you said that you will always listen and answer our prayers according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, God, that you hold nothing back from those who ask. My brother Benson from Nigeria, please lead us in prayer for wisdom and direction. Hallelujah. Our Father and our God, we just want to appreciate you for the privilege of stewardship in your vineyard and in the stewardship of your grace. That is, we come before you because we have confidence in the finished work of Calvary. We have come as sons, as your people. We are gathered from tribes, tongues, and people. We lift up, O God, our leaders, beginning from the international arrowhead, Andrew Coley, and all the executive officers working with him, will lift up the International Board of Trustees as a point of contact for all the national ministry leadership. Our Father and our God, we ask, O oh God, that by the finished work of Calvary, by the shed blood of the Lamb, Lord, you will cleanse us from any and every sin that will hinder your presence and your power. That there are confidences that when we ask, you answer. You have bid us come in the book of James. And we pray, O oh God, by Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2, that, Father, you will grant unto our leaders the spirit of counsel, wisdom, understanding. A God, that you will grant, O oh God, that in this time of global pandemic, there is confusion, there is, O oh God, uncertainty in life, in ministry, the economies of the world are shaking. In time like this, O oh God, by your spirit, the sons of Issachar knew what to do. And so, God, we pray for Andy and his team as a point of contact for all the ministry leadership around the world. The Lord, you will grant, O oh God, wisdom, knowledge, revelation. Papa, you will tell them this is the way to go at this time. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that beyond, O oh God, their human frailties and limitations, the awesomeness of your power, the awesomeness of your purpose, the awesomeness of your spirit will continually rest upon them, O oh God. That even when they sleep, when they wake up, wherever they be at any particular time, your presence will be there. And the unction of the Holy Spirit, like, O oh God, overflowing waters out of their bodies, will reveal the direction that will lead this global ministry to, O oh God, effective and impactful intervention in our criminal justice systems that will bring relief and deliverance to thousands and millions of inmates around the world. That Jesus, that in this, O oh God, your name alone will be exalted. That I will thank you because as you keep them, you preserve their families, you deliver them from every form of distraction, you will be unto them a wall of fire that with wholeness of mind and spirit, they will concentrate on the work of the ministry. That at the end, King of heaven, we shall have cause to glorify your name. That this is what we are asking. We are also praying for the prison administration all over the world, that Father, you will grant them humane spirit. You will grant them the wisdom to know that the inmates are your sons, over whom they will be blessed if they do well. Grant them this help, Lord. And all our volunteers around the globe, from the least to the greatest, that you grant, O oh God, the unction of your spirit, discernment to know what to do at the right time, that at the end, there will be a bountiful harvest. Father, 
This we ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty and matchless name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Benson. Let me take this moment before we move on to acknowledge the many prayer requests that are coming in from Facebook and YouTube. And I am, I am moved by the prayers that I am hearing, and I am moved by the prayers that I am reading. And I want to assure you the Lord has heard your prayers, and I will name you. I also see that many of you have prayed with Peter, that may your love and peace touch every prisoner. Um, and so Jacob and Fran, we acknowledge that you prayed with us. We'd also like to lift up Mathilde from Spain, Richard from Australia, um, Candy, um, David from Zimbabwe, and Gerald from Malawi. We join you and stand in agreement with you for your prayers. Thank you for participating with us. Uh, before, we, before we leave Wisdom and Direction, um, I have two others I'd like to ask to pray with us. Um, my dear Father Nikolai, calling from Bulgaria, please bless us. В името на Отца и Сина и Светия Духа Мин. Отче наш, който си мъдър, който имаш цялата слава, който имаш цялата сила и който имаш цялата власт. Дай ни мъдростта, така както си я дал на Соломон, защото ние искаме мъдростта, Господи, както Соломон я поиска от Тебе. И нито преди Него, и нито след Него нямаше и няма да има толкова мъдър, защото той не поиска нито слава, нито богатство, нито живота на враговете си, а поиска Твоята мъдрост. Затова, Господи, изпрати Твоя свети дух върху нас и ни облагодати с мъдростта си, за да можем необезпокоявани да вършим нашето дело за Твоя слава в чест на унези най-малки Твои братия, които са заключени в тъмница, които са лишени от свобода, които нямат добра Дума, които нямат отеха, които нямат светлина. Да бъдем ние за тях и ръката, и словото, и присъствието. И да не забравяме, че посещавайки ги в затвора. Ние посещаваме Тебе, Господи Боже наш, който си изтъкан от мъдрост и който ни вразумяваш и ни утвърждаваш. Господи Исусе Христе, Сине Божий, когато днес почитаме и празнуваме за това, че се възнесе на небето, за това, че си наш избавител, изкупител и спасител. Ти, Господи, изпрати благодата на Твоя свети дух върху всички нас, така че с едни уста и с едно сърце да Те славим, понеже си свят, сега и всякога и во веки веков. For holy are thou our Lord, and to you we send all the glory, always, now and ever, until the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Nikolai. It is music to my ears to hear all of these languages. 